Hey everyone, what's up? Monday. Yeah, I'm sorry too. Unless it's your uh, Saturday, or it could be your Friday. I'm not here to judge. I worked in the food industry. I know how your days off are. Uh, before I get into that, let's just get the pleasantries out of the way. This is Hobby Fisting. Some GeoGuessr. Here in the countryside of perhaps Europe. No, this is definitely Europe. Okay. But I always had this thought, like everyone, when they get to a certain age, they, they think like, I have the most brilliant idea. It's like a, uh, you can think of it as like a uh, sense of passage. Like you're first almost like, I know how the world works, or I would be able to figure out stuff much easier if, if, if people did things the way that I think or said. And for the most part, I'm like, oh, you're just a fucking idiot, younger me. But this one, I kind of, I kind of like the idea that uh, this is looks like Italian graffiti. Just seems silly, even though it probably means something nasty. It just seems like, oh, that's some cool letter wording or whatnot. But anyway, I think how they have uh, conscript uh, conscription for certain countries. Like, okay, once you hit like twenty. Or 18, whatever it is, in certain countries, you have to work in the military for a while. Why have I not seen anything to help me here? I might turn around and go back the other way. thought that car had a blown out tire, but it doesn't. Because there's nothing here. But anyway, I think a pretty good idea. Oh, we got... Okay, we're getting up to something here. Lise Agricole to start... Okay, I guess this is... France and somewhere here. But I think that uh, it actually would be a good idea if kids or kids who are of legal working age actually had to uh, work a food industry job or a customer facing service job because you definitely get a uh, sense and a, a bit of compassion at least for other people who work in restaurants. You're not going to be a dick to everyone. I mean, they speak French here, but... Corsica? Is this Corsica? Maybe it is. But why am I having a hard time trying to remember what Corsica is here? Well, I mean, I feel like zooming in here it should tell me, but it's not. So I'll put us here. For some reason, I'm drawing a blank as to what Corsica is. But I feel that if you actually worked a uh, customer service facing job, you would not be such a dick. Because I'm sure you've gone to a restaurant and you've seen the one person who's just like never happy regardless. So like, excuse me, I wanted this medium. This is obviously too rare. And then they send it back. Oh, this is well done. I can't eat this. You know, I, I if you have any one of those people, just know that I do probably hate you and probably everyone else at the table does too they just don't want to raise a stink about it because they're just going to sit there with their heads down quietly waiting for just this part of the dinner to be over because you're going to sit there and complain sartna is there a sartna here and i am i don't know if this has ended up being corsica but i'm, I'm going to stick with it but I don't know, that's that's like one of my hills I will die on. Is Just don't be a dick to D69. Is there a D69 here? Uh, I'm not going to find out in time. This is probably... yeah. Oh, it is! I had Corsica right the first time. I'm just an idiot. Yeah, D859 right there, okay. Oh, it was close enough, but I'm only going to give myself three stars because I should have known better than that. Uh, but anyway... Just know that probably a lot of other people that are at the dinner party with you are probably not happy with you. And it's just one of those things that they just don't want to bring it up. Just hopefully it goes away. Maybe they'll agree with you and you go like, can you believe? Okay, this is definitely all Russian. I don't see any letters that I do not know in Russian. So I'm going to say we're here. It's just a matter of where. I'm just going to click there because who knows? I'm sure everyone has, like, their pet peeve. It's 
some there you it's like yeah of course I, I i have my food like a certain way and i know if i go to every other restaurant i can get it done the way i want to it just this medium isn't the medium that i like but i think my i gotta think about what my pet peeves are i mean i i mentioned that people who well maybe this sign has some information on it nope doesn't look it i get annoyed by people who complain at restaurants too much like, I don't even know if I'll... I, I very rarely actually send things back. Maybe that's... I'm, I'm too much of the extreme in the other way, which which very well could be. But what is this, like, stripper ladies doing... <laughs> this is like car wash for strippers, and this is like the stripper... Yeah, that's M.A. Maginon. Okay, yeah, strip club there. Next to a strip club car wash. You got yourself a good uh, partnership. Some synergy there. It's a thumbs up. Good job. Um, uh, Kain S.A. Sauna? 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 Don't know. Well, that's R-O-S-G-O-G-G -G -G, or S-S. Uh, ugh. I'm just all over the place here. Uh, this is definitely Russia. I just don't know where, so I'm going to, I guess, put around here and just hope for the best. Other pet peeve I got? Mm. Um, this is, well, maybe I, it, are they actually pet peeves if they're things that you're aware that you do and you'll go do anything in your power not to do them? Like, I can't fall asleep in public transportation. That includes planes. Um, I don't know what that is, so I'm still going to say it's Russia. And uh, I will not fall asleep on planes because I know I snore. And it's a loud snore, and I don't want to inconvenience anybody else on the plane with my loud snoring. So I'll, you know, take one for the team, bite the bullet, whatever you want to call it, and not sleep. Like, uh, this is Luke Oil. This is a uh, pretty big Russian oil oligarch, maybe? I, I forget what the term uh, terminology is, but uh, I took when I took my flight to Taiwan, it was a uh, 16 hour plus flight, I think it was, and uh, never slept at all. In fact, that's kind of what I used as my way of um, catching up on movies. That's what I did there, but won't ever sleep on it. I know I snore, won't do it. Uh, another thing I do, this is kind of gross, but I will admit it now, is I'll do, I'll do the test. Um, for some reason, I get kind of gassy on flights, and I don't want to always get up and go to the, uh, little plane bathroom to you know, take care of the business of just letting them out there, and I, cause I don't want to do it around a bunch of people, we're in a tight, closed place, I, I understand. Alright, this is close, whatever, uh, two stars. But I'll do this thing, I kind of also do it with... Uh, different courses I take, but hear me out, uh, this is all going to make sense, is what I'll do is I'll test the seat. And what I mean by that is, um, if I have to do a little too, I'll just let a little bit out and see if the seat absorbs it. And if that little bit is like, okay, I don't smell it, then I'll do a little bit more just to test. And then I'll, uh, like, all right, I got green light, so I don't have to worry about it. And so far, I think every plane I've gone onto, I don't know if this is like a built-in feature with airplanes, and I've just, they, they've never really like advertised it because, you know, it's not really a thing you're ever going to hear about, like, great food, um, absorb, order absorbing seats. I mean, maybe it could be, but, um, but I also have that same, um, idea, ideology, whatever you want to call it with courses is when I'll take a course, the first ever paper that I have to do, because when I was taking a uh, history course when I was in college, I had to write a lot. You, you, tip for you, if you're if you're about to go to college, don't know if you're going to be doing anything with history, just know that if you uh, hate writing, too bad, you're going to do a lot of it. But I will do... Okay, this is... Hale County? Oh, this doesn't help me. Except that I know it's America, I just don't know where. I'm going to click Indiana just for now. Uh, let's see if I can't see that sign a bit 
better. No, I can't. But I'll do a South 25. Let's see what this. Oh, it's Alabama. Ale County. Let's look for counties here. Get a little bigger. But I'll do one little test. And what? Where are the counties here? Give me counties. Well, it's not, but I'll look for the 25. I'll, I'll, I'll test the teacher how uh, they want their papers done. Like, I'll do the, how I kind of would like to have them done. And if they accept it, I'll know, okay, I can keep writing the way that I am. But if they reject them, like, all right, that's one paper. I know I have to do a bunch of them. And it's not going to hinder me in any way. So uh, I always do a little test. I'm like, okay, she hates the way I write because I had a professor. I did that. She did. She was not happy about the way I was writing. So I was like, okay, every other paper, I'll do it the way you want. And problem solved. Well, I'm going to click here before I forget because I got a minute, whatever. But... I guess I could give some more tips for college if... I don't know why you'd come to me for college tips, but... Always look for the used books. I don't even know if books are a thing anymore. They were super expensive when I uh, was in school. Obvi it's an obvious thing that everyone has to deal with. Or maybe they did when I was there, but... Always go for the used books. There's no reason not to. And for those real astute people, when you're going for the used books, take a uh, flip through. Look to see if they've actually highlighted anything, because if they did, chances are the class you're taking used that book and everything they highlighted for notes, you're going to need them too. So they did the work for you. Uh, so I, I've gotten quite a few decent paper uh, scores on my, a couple of papers I did, because uh, that stuff helped me. I was like, oh, I just look at the book. I know exactly what to look for now. It's super easy. Why have I not seen this? Well, this is probably a super small road, so I'm not really going to see where it is exactly. But it's a big enough state that I think if I just hit around there, maybe it'll... Oh, Jesus. Is there anything else I know for uh, college? It's been a long time since I was in college. Enjoyed it, though. Oh, let's see where I was. Oh, it was the other side of the state. How, oh, it, there was 25. I can totally see it. I just happened not to catch it, so I'll do four stars. Uh, okay, this is... Not America? I don't know. It's the weird... I don't know what this one means. Because I don't think this is an American road demarcation. Maybe this is Argentina. Maybe this is Mexico. But I'm not getting far enough down the road like I'd like to. Winnipeg. This is a pretty nice little uh, vista here. I like this. I don't know if I stay here for very long, but oh, we got signage. Um, language. This doesn't help me. Paradoos. Like maybe this is South America. We're gonna pass this. Oh, we already passed this truck. Okay. So, this isn't Mexico. This could be... That's terracotta. Nope, that's uh, window frames you got in the back of your truck there. This is European, I feel. And if it's European, this very well could be... Uh, Spain? Southern, Southern Italy? And I'm, I, I outthought myself on Corsica, I think. I mean, that was a pole and a half of it. I just saw... It graffiti and it said the word Corsica, so I'm like, oh, maybe it's that. This is... Um... Well, that's a... Baobab tree? Which is an African thing. Huh. Well, now I've got no idea. Is this Lake Victoria? This I have no fucking idea. <laughs> Uh, this is nice, though. I like it. I would definitely visit this. I need more signs. Well, the only thing I've come across so far is that non-English sign, or maybe it was just people's last names. Um, a baobab tree of some sort. This is probably just a, uh, yeah. Oh, I have a... This is the water down dam. Is this a goddamn... Man, this is uh, really throwing me for a loop here. 
This is English. Hmm. But this is definitely... I'm gonna hit home and go the other way, because... My goodness. I think I'm gonna get a very bad score in this one. There's very few of these that, that seem to stump me here, and... This one just might be one of them. That's just a sign there. I gotta get motor in here. If I had a guess, I gotta make a guess somehow, I think. Um, let's see that car. This is a... Nope, doesn't help me. Does not help in any way. Alright, fuck. Uh, just around the bend. This is still nothing. Wow. I am going to get a terrible score here. Is this, this, I saw that stupid Baobab thing. Could this be Australia? This is that weird um, type of Ford. I think that they only sell... No, that's an... Oh, fuck me. I get... This is... This one. I got... Nothing. Zuzu. Well... I got nothing. So I'm going to click in South Africa. See if that ends up being the case, but... Man. This is going to be an awful score if this ends up being... Let's see how far away... Oh, Jesus Christ, I got the country right. That Baobat... That, that one African-looking tree is what helped me. Oh, it was our Route 67. All right, well... Uh, I'm going to give three stars. Probably could have gave... Well, I already know the country. Jesus. <laughs> Again, it's real... Help, unless it happens to be, like, the Isle of Crete. I don't know if Malta speaks Greek. Um, oh, boy. I used to know what some of these were. But it's real handy when you get to Greece and they tell you... Like, right below the the Greek word is it in English, and you can basically do word for word. I'm sure I've mentioned that before. P-A-L-O... Mm, I'm not going to try. Let's get our... Set. Well, I'm going to click here before I forget. And I mentioned this. Uh, well, you'll see it in the videos later... Oh, Jesus. Later this week when I talk about... It, I went to Greece... A couple of years ago, went with some people. Actually, I can I can put it on the map here. It was right in here, I believe. Um, nice place. Um, but it's uh, there was a lot of like actual crap everywhere on the ground. Like a uh, uh, human could have been dog. I'm not sure, but it really blew my mind when I found out that you can't eat olives right off the tree. Like you need to do work to the olives before you can actually eat them, which was weird. Like, how did they first figure that out? Because I'm sure the first time they saw an olive tree, was like, I'll give this a shot, and it just turned out, okay, I cannot eat this. Ancient Thero Museum. This is... Yeah, see, it's kind of like you can kind of do one-to-one -one here. I don't know if I'm going to see Thero anywhere on here. That's Nestle Hellas. Thero. How big is Thero? Couldn't tell you. But, like, I don't know if you have to, like, what what's the process you have to do to them to actually be able to, um, make them edible? Like, it's weird. Do you, do you have to soak them in olive oil? But then, why? how would you, it's a chicken and egg thing, how would you get the olive oil to make the olives unless you olive oil the olives? Did somebody by accident just, uh, Squeeze one really hard, and this 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 stuff came out, and they're like, "Well, it makes things shiny." Because according to Evo, the other person on this channel, who's really into Roman and Hellenistic age, Bronze Age, whatever you want to call it, he talks about, "Okay, what is this? EU is making a thing, and I have no clue where they like." I can't be like, okay, where are they constructing things? I'm, I'm not going to be able to figure this out. Uh, we'll just put here. Kind of central country. But Evo mentioned that apparently the Spartans and whatnot would... Uh, I guess you could call it quote-unquote bathing by uh, 
rubbing themselves in oil, do some grooming stuff, but that's really not bathing. That's that's cheating. Well, it's not cheating. It's just like you can call it self-bathing, but no, you're uh, you're covered in oil. There's nothing clean about oil. You're just gonna be shiny and stinky. Whoa, camera! What are you doing to me? Got a bunch of sheep there. Uh, get off the screen, thank you. But Greek, I, I, it was really fun to be there, but gotta tell you, I'm not too much of a fan of most Greek food. Feta, no. Olives, uh, the, the olives are uh, disgusting. If you love them, more power to you. I like the oil. Can't be doing with no no, no olives themselves. It's gross to me. It, it It's a super strong, bitter taste. Or maybe it's bitter. I've, I forget how to describe it. I've definitely eaten them before. They ain't no good. Oh, we're over here. Well, 45, 15. I'll give myself three stars again. Oh, shit. That flew right by. Uh, well, Russia screwed me there. I def- well, I also screwed myself on there. That probably would have got me over 2,000 if I got the right island and, you know, it's Russia. What am I gonna do? Got real lucky with that, but hey, that's just how it works. I could have easily gotten 2,000. I easily could have gotten 1,500, uh, 15,000 with this being screwed, but hey, thank you all for watching. If you liked it, uh, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, all that other stuff. Uh, check out the other videos on the channel. We would greatly appreciate it. And uh, for all of us over here, hope you're having a good one. We will see you next time.